Okay, guys, now, for the calibration of a thermometer, I want you to imagine that I'm using a thermometer that does not have a meniscus. Now, uh, no meniscus means dekat sini tak ada bacaan lah. Nak ambil reading dia tak ada, ya? So, no meniscus. And your thermometer that you're using over here is a mercury-based thermometer, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is, first, I'm going to put the thermometer over here in ice-cold water, okay? And then, I'm going to put the thermometer over here in boiling water. Now, remember the water that I'm using, uh, ice cold or boiling water, both of it is distilled water, okay? So, the moment I put it in ice cold water over here, what will happen is the uh, mercury over here will rise, okay? The mercury will rise in the meniscus, uh, sorry, the mercury will rise over here in the capillary tube. Now, what happens over here is, where, let's just say the mercury over here rises, let's just say 5 centimeter, okay? Now, the mercury rises 5 centimeter in cold water. Okay, now cold distilled water will give you a temperature of, guys, 0 degree Celsius. Logic lah, cold distilled water. Okay, the freezing point over here of uh, water over here will be uh, 0 degree Celsius. And the melting point of ice is also 0 degree Celsius. So, distilled water, 0 degree Celsius. And the uh, mercury over here will go all the way up to 5 centimeters. Now, what happens over here is... When you put it over here, when you take the thermometer, let it cool for a while, let it uh, over here be a normal temperature, then you put it in boiling water. When you put it in boiling water, let's just say it goes up all the way until 30 centimeters. Now, when it goes at 30 centimeters, because it's boiling distilled water, your temperature will be 100 degree Celsius. Now, when you have your zero, when you have your 100, you can basically divide this thermometer that does not have a meniscus and you can basically, uh, you know, do your own meniscus. Now, let me just give you a sample of an SPM question, guys. Huh? Let's just see, okay? I am telling you that the mercury rised up over here to a point, okay? Now, let's just say I'm telling you that the mercury over here rised up to a point and this point over here, I'm going to label it as, let's just say, 20 centimeters. Now, guys, to do this question, you have a very long, irritating formula. Now, I'm going to give you over here a much more easier way to how to solve this question. Okay? So, the question is, what is the temperature when your mercury rises to over here 20 centimeters? Now, we're going to use over here a method. See, yeah? 30 minus 20. Oh, you want to take on top also first? Can, no problem. Okay. Let's just use this as X because we don't know the value. Okay. We just want to label this as X. So, 100 minus X. Okay. Divide 30 minus 20. Okay. So, the first stage, eh? 100 minus X, 30 minus 20. Okay equals to x minus 0 over, yep, 20 minus 5. Okay, so solving this, 100 minus x, okay, 30 minus 20, you'll get 10. x over here, 20 minus 5, 15. 10 times x, 10x, equals to, 15 times 100, 1,500, okay, minus 15x. So, you bring x the other side, 10x, you bring 15, now you bring negative 15x the other side, it will be plus, isn't it? So, over here, you'll get negative, uh, sorry, positive 25x equals to 1,500, okay? And the value for x, okay? After you have done this, let me just raise up the paper a little bit for you to see it clearly. Okay, so from this, the value for x equals to 1500 divide 25. You'll get 60 degree Celsius. As easy as that. Now, I just want you to do a small homework at home, guys. Eh? Now, just a quick thing that I want to ask you. Between mercury and alcohol, I'll just write the 
thought for the day lah that I want you to think about. Eh? Between mercury versus alcohol. Okay, because you have some thermometers that uses mercury, okay, and you have some thermometer that uses alcohol. Now, a few difference that I would like to explain to you guys. Eh? Mercury thermometers, uh, you can tell that mercury is opaque. Mercury can be clearly seen. Uh, mercury over here heats up uniformly. There are many good things that you can tell about mercury. Many bad things that you can tell about alcohol. Alcohol is basically colorless. You have to use a red dye so that you can see alcohol properly. You know, there are many bad things about alcohol. But a very important difference, perbezaan yang sangat penting, di antara mercury dan alcohol is when you are measuring temperature in cold climate areas okay very cold climate areas you have to use alcohol okay this is for cold climate areas mercury you can use it over here in any normal conditions but alcohol is especially for cold climates so if i'm giving you a question telling you that there's an expedition up north pole what type of thermometer they should use you tell alcohol based thermometer not mercury based thermometer but do a little bit research about the advantages and disadvantages of mercury and alcohol all right thank you